What's going on guys? I just wanted to give y'all a quick little breakdown of my record off my brand new album, Rem, called Clash. This is a cool song to me because there's so many cool facets to it. First being that it's really the only true R&B song on the project. There's a lot of R&B flavor coded throughout the album, but this is, in my opinion, a true modern R&B type song. It's a very, it's the most simple song. Uh, this song has the least lyrics of all the songs on the project. And um, it's a song about marriage and marriage tension specifically. You know, people who are in relationships experience hurt, experience their expectations being crushed. And marriage is really a great way for God to showcase um, how selfish we are, <laughs> um, how, uh, if he's not in the picture, it can just be ruined in a moment uh, long suffering can be had in a way that's not necessary. And, uh, in my marriage, I've been so blessed to see so much fruit. Um, a lot of people don't know this about me, but I've been in a lot of relationships and I've done most of them the wrong way. Even as a person to claim that I was a believer, um, I went through a lot of relationships and um, did things I wasn't supposed to do, lived very selfishly, didn't uh, prioritize the glory of God. And there were penalties, deep wounds uh, to be had from that. And um, that happened my whole life really until I met Allie. And, um, my, my wife and it's interesting because Allie was the first person where when I met her after a few weeks I had a tugging on my heart of answering the question what would it look like if you actually gave this entire relationship to the Lord and prioritized his glory uh, over your own desires and I wrestled with that incredibly I was in college I want to say I was a sophomore or a junior in college and I had seen the damage I had caused and that was caused to me in doing things the wrong way uh, I had a, a Chinese scroll of circumstances and experiences that validated for me that doing relationships outside of God's glory was disastrous and had huge penalties for both parties and demonstrated a poor example of relationships uh, to the world. And so by God's grace and with the help of the Holy Spirit, I was able to commit to early on um, living life God's way, abstaining from sexual immorality, um, prioritizing God and growing in a knowledge of him, um, caring for someone else more than myself, not idolizing your partner in your relationship. And I have just seen uh, an incredible amount of God's goodness in that commitment that I was able to um, go through with, with my wife. We dated for three to four years prior to even getting married. And I think God did a lot of reconstructive work on both of our hearts to really put us into a position of not having uh, disastrous things happen in our marriage uh, by the time we actually tied the knot. So um, I say all that just to give a little bit of backstory on my history of relationships. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys can connect with that. Relationships um, are, are so much different uh, than a lot of things. Uh, the, the connectedness and the sexuality in them and the, the union of them and uh, just the various comp components of a marriage and a relationship are ha have such a different weight on our souls uh, as we go through them. And so um, they're very close to my heart to talk about. And so now getting into the song Clash, the song's about anger and how in our selfishness, uh, when we don't prioritize the glory of God and the love of others over our own ambitions and desires, the destruction that can cause and the crazy thing about it is your spouse or the person that you're in a relationship with 
excuse me, you're gonna do life with them forever. So why would you let anger break apart that union that God has called you to be in? Why would you, um, why would you make your whole day sour, a whole week sour, months sour, uh, for not getting what you expect? How would you um, make the climate in your household negative um, and toxic because of your anger? Uh, most of the time, if we admit our anger is not because we wanna live for God's glory, it's because we wanna change people, we want comfort, convenience, satisfaction, and none of those things uh, will bring us happiness in the end, and they're not designed to. Um, so when I made this song, obviously my wife and I have argued and fought before, and um, one of the things that I've thought through recently is just how worthless it is to not be or how, how worthless, worthless it is to carry anger for any amount of time. My prayer through making this song, while making this song and thinking through this song, has always been, God, please make me slow to anger. Please, when I get angry with my uh, spouse or with friends, please let me ask the question, is your glory at stake? Do I love the person who I'm looking at right now? How can I love them more? How can I love you more in this moment? so that I can quickly come back to my wife in that beautiful union and not a toxic union that's selfish and that isn't patient, isn't kind, uh, isn't self-restraining. And so I very simply in this song, I'm just talking about how anger really needs to be put to death, a, a non-righteous anger. And um, for the sake of building up for the sake of what's better, what's more glorious, and that's God getting glory in our union and commitment and kindness and self-restraint and patience with one another, because ultimately that's a demonstration of where our contentment really is. Is it in the relationship or is it in the Lord? And it's a blessing, you know, I picked my partner, <laughs> you know, that's another component of it. Why am I choosing to do things that would sabotage my marriage? for the sake of a moment of satisfaction or peace or quote unquote comfort. And it's not worth it. And so uh, I hope you guys really connect with this song. I feel like even if you're not married and you're not in a relationship, you've experienced anger towards people and you see the destruction that it causes, the toxicity and paralysis that you go through when you're dealing with the, the weight of that on your soul. And uh, my prayer is that you would seek God, prioritize God, and you'll just begin to see a ton of fruit um, spring out of that. So ho hopefully you guys love that. Um, let me know if you've had any relationship experiences, uh, if you've noticed the same fruit, uh, maybe some things that you went through, and let's get the conversation started, all right? Peace.